Hey everybody, I'm Tony. Welcome to phase one, two of the circuit. Let's have some fun today and remember, don't overdo it. You should be taking your supplements by now. Remember, we're going to use dumbbells. We got dumbbells back there. Lisa's going to be using those and Sean's going to have the resistance bands. You need water and towel nearby because you need them later. Also, remember, have a chair nearby for uh, the dips. Are you guys ready? All right, we're going to start with a stretch. Let's take a deep breath and exhale the chin down. Now, roll the right ear, the right shoulder. We're going to start with the neck and work our way all the way down. Now, back to the front. Left side, left ear, left shoulder. Take our time. There's no rush to this. You don't want to go back. That's a little rough on the neck. Here we go to the right side again for number two. And you're always breathing back there. Okay, back down to the front. Number two on the left side. Left ear, left shoulder, face is facing forward. Back down to the front. Last time on the right side. Good. Back down to the front. Last time on the left side. Here we go. The neck's nice and warm. Back down to the front. And head up. We're going to do shoulder rolls. Three back. Here we go. Loosen up those shoulders. That's two. Here's number three. Good. Let's go forward for one. And two. And three. Let's, let's stretch out that right shoulder. Arms across. Hook underneath. Feel that in the back of the shoulder right over there. Need a little more. Let's get that right arm up. Reach behind. Grab the right elbow with the left hand. We're going to work the shoulder and also the upper lat. Real good. And bring it out. Left arm out. Hook underneath. Under the left side. Opening up that shoulder. Good. And bring it up. And behind. Grab the left elbow with the right hand. And open up that shoulder and lat. Good, good, good. All right, bring it out. Open up that stance, you guys. Take a deep breath up. Here we go. Clasp the fingers and reach up tall. Good. Turn that right foot out. We're going to go down and work that lat a little bit more. Reach up with that left hand. Eyes on that thumb. For a little bit of bonus, we're going to reach off one direction. Here we go. And up. Other side. Over. Turn that foot out. Reach up tall. Reach over with the right hand, keeping that open, those eyes up. And good. Reach up. And three chest stretches. Here we go. There's one. Pull wide across the chest. That's one. Turn the hands out. Let's do it again. How are we doing back there, everybody? Good, good. Here's number two. And number three. Here we go. Big, tall stretch. Pull wide across the chest. And now slowly swan dive down to the floor. Open up the legs nice and wide. Good. A little bit wider, Lisa. There you go. Sean, looking good. We're going to hang out here. Fold the arms, relax the head. This is a nice lower back stretch. Good. No rush here, guys. We're stretching. Hands on the floor. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale the air over to the right side. Grab the right shin or foot or as low as you can go. Imagine pulling your head down to your shoe. If you can engage the legs and keep them tight and straight, that's fine. If you have to bend them, it's no big deal. Let's go back to center with a deep breath. Exhale it over to the left side. Good. You guys looking good back there. Let's take a deep breath to center again. And exhale over to the right side, bending the right knee. Turn the right foot out a little bit. Keep the left leg straight. And make sure the knee's over the ankle. Good. Get that knee over the ankle more, at least. There you go. That's a little bit better. If you don't feel this stretch, just drop it down some more. You'll feel it. Deep breath to center. Exhale over to the other side. Same thing on the left side. Knees over the ankle. Leg is straight. Foot's on the floor. Good, you guys. Looking good. Air into the center. Exhale over and let's turn and face to the right. Have a runner stretch. Good. Back leg's as straight as you can make it. Very nice. Okay. Let's get... A little bit more intense here and raise that toe up in the air. Now, if you can't straighten your right leg, that's no big deal. If you're only here like that, that's fine. But do what you can. Lift that toe up in the air. It's sort of an exaggerated calf and hamstring stretch. We're going down. How are you guys doing? Yes, good. Come on up. For number two, we can do this three times. Last time on the right side. Here we go. And up. Take a deep breath to center. Exhale over to the left and turn to the left. Same thing here, three times on this side. Toes up. Good, 
are very flexible people here. That's important. And down. Good, you guys. Looking good. Here we go. Up. And down. Last one up. And back to center. Here we go. We're going to do a waist stretch next. I'm going to place the left hand on the floor. Reach up with the right hand. See if you can get your eyes on that top thumb. If you have to bend your knees here, that's okay. So work in the waist. And keep breathing. That's really important throughout the entire stretch. Good. Let's come on down. Place the left hand with the right hand. Other side. Very good. Man, do I feel that. You guys feel that? It's a great stretch. All right, both hands down on the floor. Put your hands on your knees and roll up real slow. One vertebra at a time. Knees are bent. Your head's the last thing to come up. Chin's on the chest. Stand up tall. That's the stretch. Let's get busy with some push-ups first. You guys ready to go? All right, here we go. This is it. Hands about six inches wider than the shoulders. Here's the pace. Down, hold, up, hold. Down, hold, up, hold. Down, hold, up, hold. Here we go. Let's check out these two guys. See how they're doing. Good. Down, hold, up, hold. That's the pace. Back's flat. Stomach is strong. And up. Great form, you guys. Down and up. Nice. Backs are straight. Heads are up. Good form for these guys. Really good. Okay, let's go to some heavy pants. Heavy pants are a back exercise. Grab your weight. Sean's got the resistance bands. One foot's in front of the other. You're going to bend those knees. You're going to reach down below your feet. Straight up. They're called heavy pants because you're pulling your pants right up, just like that. Bang. Exploding them up nice and easy down. Boom. Just like that. Good straight arms all the way up. Good form. Good motion. It's good. That's good. Let's check out Lisa back there. Nice form. Look at that. If you can reach a little bit lower, you get more range of motion, which is nice. Reach right down to my hand. Yeah, perfect. Sean, good. He's using the band, so it's a really, really effective. Nice straight back. Nice straight back. Nobody's going to get hurt that way. That's really, really important. Excellent form, you guys. I want to hear that breathing. There's the breathing. Nice. There you go. Good. Keep it coming. We're almost there. We're going to do some military press next. We're almost finished. Here we go with the military presses. Now, grab your weights and your bands. You guys all set up. All right, good. One foot's in front of the other again. You're going to bring them right up. Hands are facing forward. Reach up nice and tall and down. Nice and tall and down. Chest is up, eyes are forward. Good. If you have any pressure on your lower back, that means the weight's too heavy. You need to lighten things up a little bit. Let's go and check these guys out. Let's see. There we go. Good, good. Chest is up. You've got nice straight arms. Your eyes are forward. Really, really, really good. Good, Sean. Reach up tall, man. Get those arms nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. He's got the bands, which makes it really, really tough. Nice straight arms all the way up. Good. Bend those knees a little bit. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, you guys. Really good. Make sure you're breathing. Form is really, really nice. Good, you guys. Great. Here we go. We're almost in a bicep curls. Okay. Here we go. One foot's in front of the other. Chest up tall. Bring them right up and right down. Simple, standard bicep curl. Just like that. Make sure the arms are already, already straight, all the way down. Here we go. Let's check on the guys. Well, let's go. Bend those knees just a touch. Sean, there you go. All the way up. Get that chest up. Head up. Nice. Good form. Good form. Both you guys. Knees are bent. One foot's in front of the other. The reason why you put one foot in front of the other is because it helps your back. If your legs are locked straight, there's too much pressure on your lower back, and you don't want that. All right. Finish it up here. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Good. That's it. Adjust your weights if necessary. You guys set up for some one arm called back scratchers. Let's work in the tricep. Grab your weight. Same thing with the feet. Left hand's on the hip. We're going to start with the right hand. Drop it down. Raise it up. Drop it down. Raise it up. Just like that. See the straight line from here to here? Really important. Boom. You also want to drop that arm a little below parallel behind your head and straighten it out. And straighten it up. Here we go. Let's see you back there. Uh-huh. Looking good. Nice and straight from here to here. Heads up, chest up, and knees are bent. Sean, you're looking good, man. You feel that, you guys? Yes, you do. All right. Now remember, you're doing 8 to 15 reps here. 
and we switch sides right away, right over to the left side. How we doing, kids? Looking good. Five reps to go. Let's finish them off, you guys. And bang. Boom. Bang, that's right. As soon as you guys are done, pop off to the other side, switch the feet, right hands on the hip, reach it up tall. Same form, identical form to the other side. Nice and straight at the top. Reach it up tall. Make sure to breathe. Bend those knees, you guys. It's really important. That never changes, not during any of these exercises. Good. If you got a shoulder issue, remember you could always do a kickback exercise like this. That's an option in case you got some kind of shoulder pain. All right, that's okay. Let's see how you guys are doing back here. Knees are bent, back is straight. The guys are perfect. They don't need any help. They're fantastic. Nice and straight. It looks really, really good. Sean, nice, man. You guys are looking real, real good. Make sure to breathe. We got a few more left. Let's go. Here we go. Finish it off. Good. And last one. Boom. Let's go to lunges. Let's clear the floor. Starting in one corner. Two in this direction. Two back. Nice and tall. You guys ready to go? Here we go. Right leg first. Knees over the ankle. Step. Left leg. Just like that. Boom. Let's turn. Back again. Right leg. Up. Back legs are nice and straight, you guys. Boom. Make sure that knee's over the ankle. And let's turn. Here we go. Bam. Back leg straight. Let's see the form. Good. Get that knee up a little bit, Sean. Nice. There you go. Turn for me. Let's see going back. Good. Back leg. See how straight that leg is? It's perfect, you guys. Good, good, good. All right. And turn. Last one. Come on. Straighten that back leg for me, Sean. I know you can do it. Big, strong guy like you. Come on. Bring it up. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Perfect. Turn and come back. Let's see. Lisa, good. Your posture's good. Your balance is good. Nice, nice, you guys. All right. Here we go. That's in round one. We're going to stretch. First thing we stretch are the quads, because we just used them. All right? So grab an ankle. Get that quad. If you don't feel that, stand tall. I'm gonna hold this for a few beats. And switch sides. Now remember, if you don't have superior balance like the three of us, you can always use a chair or a wall to support yourself. Okay, that's okay. Nice and tall, get that quad. Now we're going back to the right leg. We're gonna stretch the calf and the hamstring. Put that right leg out, bend over. Pull on that toe for some bonus stretch. I'm falling over, don't ask me why. Here we go. Calf hamstring, bending down. You really, really feel that. You guys feel that stretch? Good, good. We're gonna switch sides. Here we go, other side. Nice, all right, let's get the shoulders. Because we use them every time, back and forth. Back and forth. Good. All right, you guys, wide feet. Here we go, let's open up the chest, deep breath. Wide. One more. Good. Stretch is over. You guys ready for the next round? Fly push-ups. Hands are real wide this time, okay? Looks like this. Before we were six inches, now we're about nine inches wide. Same form. Down, hold, and up. Down, hold, and up. Down, hold, and up. Let's see you guys. Same as the first round. Backs are straight, stomachs are tight. Nice and deep. Heads are not up and heads are not down. And make sure to breathe. And down, hold, and up. Down, hold, and up. These guys are getting a workout, looks to me. Yeah, you guys, looking real good. Good, good form. We're almost there. Remember, eight to 15 reps on this too, you guys. So we're gonna do 15 here. Down, hold, and up. Nice form, nice breathing. I can hear you both breathing. Here we go, a few left. Down, hold. And up, down, hold, and up. All right, we're going to back flies next. Like heavy pants, same position, but we're gonna pull back like you're flying like a bird, just like that. Boom. Open it up nice and wide. Knees are bent, back is flat. Nice. Let's see your form back there, you guys. Good. Good. Look how flat that back is. Reach down, reach down low. Get down there nice and low, Lise. There you go. Explode back. 
What you don't want to do is make this a shoulder exercise, all right? It really benefits the rhomboids, lower back, top of the neck. We got a few more reps to go. Here we go. Bam, explode it up. Good. Next is swimmer's press. It's like the standard press, but you're gonna corkscrew it up and bring it down. You guys ready? Looks like this. Knees are bent still, back is straight, chest is up. Place them right here at the top of a curl and straighten them out. Just like that, at that pace. Remember guys, it's the first program. One, two, don't overdo it with the weights. A lot of pressure here on the shoulders and back. So adjust your weight accordingly. Let's see how everybody's doing behind me. Good form, nice you guys. Those resistance bands really work, don't they, Sean? Man, he's getting a workout. He's looking good. Oh, good, you wanna come nice and low down to the bottom of a curl movement. Don't be afraid to bring those elbows back, you guys, a little bit. That's it, perfect. That's it, perfect. Okay, a few left. Here we go. Bam. Good, right from here, get your weights, get them adjusted. Now we're going to open arm curls. One foot in front of the other, knees are bent, chest is up. Open up those hands off to the side and curl them up and down. Boom, never lose your posture, really important here. Don't bend over. Straighten the arms at the bottom, all the way open and then all the way close. Let's set you guys behind me, let's see. Good form, nice straight arm, perfect. Straighten that arm, back is straight, head is up. Really, really tones up the biceps. It's a great, great exercise. Nice breathing, you guys. Looking good. Remember, eight to 15 reps, whatever you can do, we're gonna do 15 here, okay? We got five left, four left. Here we go, we're gonna finish them up with the guys. Here we go. Boom. Two to go. Last one, here it is. Boom. Now we got two arm kickbacks. Working the triceps. I'm gonna give you a side profile so you see what it looks like. Bend over. Straighten them in the back, just like that. I'll show you. Bent over, big bend in the knees, start at the shoulders, and kick them back and pause it for a second. Kick it back and pause it for a second. Bam, let's see. Good. Good, good, good. Backs are straight. Don't cock the head down too much. Bring them all the way into the shoulders and extend as straight as you can, far back. There you go. And squeeze back here at the top. Squeeze right there, bam. Excellent, and make sure to breathe here. Also, remember, this exercise is tough, so lighten your weights a little bit. It builds the shoulders and the triceps. We got four reps to go. Here we go. I'm gonna jump back in. Get a little workout myself. Good. Two left. Bam. One more. Boom, good. Drop them down. Last of round two, we're gonna do lunge squat combo. Right leg first, just like the lunges, but we do squats in between. We do three, here we go. Down, knees over the ankle, stop, and down, and up. Down, you wanna make sure you come all the way up, and nice and tall at the top. All your weight's on your heels. Let's go left leg, boom, and turn. Right leg, down, and three, here we go, one. Two. No reason to rush through these, you guys. Just take your time. Let's check the form. Let's see it. Good. And turn. Boom. Right leg, back leg, straight as you can make it, Sean. Let's see those squats. Bam. Nice and tall. Bam. Nice and tall. One more. Boom. Good. Let's see it. And come on back. Turn. All right, last one, last time. Come on, bring it on. Big lunge, get that knee over the ankle, legs gotta be straight, really, really important. Three squats, one, two. You see how they stand up nice and tall every time? Hands are up for balance, that's important. Good, good you guys, excellent. At the end of round two, we're gonna take a little water and towel break. So grab some water. Now remember you guys, there's no reason to overdo this. We're starting out, it's level one, two. So take your time, check your weights, make sure you're not lifting too hard, make sure your form is really good. And use that pause button if you need it. Take breaks, that's okay. Mm. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna go into our stretch and we're gonna do our quads first. Grab the right ankle and get that quad. And our right quad, stand up nice and tall. And 
on the other side. And let's get that right hamstring and calf, toe up, reaching down, getting both back side of the right leg. Switch other side. Right, left calf, left hamstring. Stand up tall, big chest stretch. Here we go. And exhale wide. Let's do it again. And wide. Good, front and back a little bit. Okay, round three, seven, seven, and seven. Right on the floor. Seven wide, seven close, and then seven standard. Same kind of beat. Down, up. Down, hold, up. Down, hold, up. Let's see you guys. Sean, you get wider than that, come on. Yeah, I knew you had it. That's nice and wide, that's good form. Same thing, head is straight. Stomach and back is nice and tight. Make sure to breathe. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna switch over to the close ones. Let's go in here nice and tight. Just like that. Up hold, down hold. Up hold, down hold. See how close my hands are? That's really, really important. Elbows gotta be in really tight. Don't let those elbows flare on this one, okay? Good. See, Lisa, you gotta get those elbows nice and tight. You're too wide there, girl. Go back with them. Even bring your hands in closer. Closer, 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 closer. That's better, it's a tough one. It's really, really hard. All right, that's the last of the close one. Now we'll bring the hands a little bit wider like the, the original ones we did, about six inches wide, and crack those out. Here we go, I'll do them with you guys. Down, hold, and up, one. Down, hold, two. Hold, three. Hold, I'm checking on you. Good. Three more. Down, hold, and up. Boom. And down, and hold. And seven, nice you guys, okay. Next one is a back exercise, it's called lawnmower. Like you're starting a lawnmower, lay the cable on the ground, step on the cable with your left foot, grab the handle with your right hand, and pull across your body. Right leg straight, knees over the ankle, big back movement, and pull, and pull. Remember you guys, don't overdo it. We're just starting out here. Pick a weight that's appropriate. Don't overexert yourself. Let's see the form back there. Good. See this twist movement that Lisa has? It's really, really important. She's extending back. She's got a nice straight line here. Her knee's over her ankle. I can hear her breathing, I swear to God. Let's see Sean. He's got the resistance bands. There's a lot of tension at the top of that motion. That's okay. You're not gonna have the same range of motion as you do with the weights. With two more, they're gonna switch sides. All right, you guys, that's it. Let's go other side. Remember at home, eight to 15 reps here too. Right away to the left hand and pull it back. Pull it back. The form doesn't change exactly the way it was on the other side. Let's see you guys. That, that's excellent. Oh, you guys are good. The big twist, you see the twist at the top? It extends a lot more movement in the chest, works the lats a lot more. Sean's breaking a nice sweat, which is really good to see. One thing about the resistance bands, you'll notice not as much tension at the bottom as at the top but it's just as good an exercise. Good, you guys. We got four more here. I'll jump in there with you to finish. Here we go. Last one, good. All right, adjust your weights. Shoulder flies, you might wanna lighten your weight a little bit here. A little bit uh, less than you think. Eight to 15 reps, one foot's in front of the other. Pop them up just like that. Here we go. Follow me, boom, and down. See that little hold at the top? Bang, just like that. Boom, nice and high. Let's see. Great exercise for shaping the deltoids. I'm gonna try to get out of Lisa's way here. Important thing is, see how high her elbows are? She's not up like this. Same thing with Sean. The resistance bands are great for this exercise because you really feel it in here, don't you? Oh yeah, he's breaking a nice sweat. I love that. Straight back, head forward, breathing. See how wide she is? It's really important, that width is really nice. So you might have to lighten your weights a little bit. Great, you guys. We got three left. Boom. Here we go. Last one. Get your weights, we're doing 21. So it's a bicep exercise. Seven low, seven high, seven all the way. Knees bent, back is straight. Boom. It's a half movement, only to here. And down, only to here. Straight arms to the bottom, really important. Let's see you guys. How far are you coming up? Right to there. 
right to there. Good. Everything's the same with the lower half. Notice, knees are always bent, back is always straight, chest is always up, eyes are forward. It's a great arm blast. It really shapes them. Seven low, now we're gonna go seven high. You ready? Go seven high. Go. Boom. Stop right where my hand is. Right there. Right there. Make sure to breathe. Make sure your knees are bent. Make sure your back is straight. Come up and contract that. But man, the resistance bands, you really feel this, don't you, upper half? Yeah, I'm making sure I work today. I love that. It's so good. Good. Now you do the full Monty. Let's go. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. Good, Lise. Looking good. Sean, real nice. Chest up. You see how they're not moving around? They're not jerking around? This is really, really important. We're going to grab some chairs because in a few beats, we got two left. We're going to do some dips. Last one. Boom. Nice. Put your weights away. We're going to dips. We're working the triceps in the back of the shoulders. Find a nice, strong, sturdy chair. Place your hands on either side of your hips. Straighten the legs. Scoot out so you can clear your back. Nice and deep. And up. Don't overdo it here, you guys. If you can't go down this slow, then don't worry about it. Just play with it. You can even kind of do this if you want. Just a little short range of motion like that. Try to, and if, also, option one. Here's option two. If it's hard, do that. Good. Let's see these guys. Nice. You see their pace? They're not rushing it. They're not overdoing it. They're going almost to parallel with the upper arm. Let's see that at least bang right there. Good. Sean, nice and parallel. Legs are straight, toes are up. Looking good. Two more, you guys. Bang. All right. Three part squats. Close, a little wider, even wider. Okay? We're doing eight each one. Here we go. You guys ready? You feel like you're on a pair of skis. Bring it up, hands up, drop that butt down. Oh yeah, that looks good. Nice, let's see the form. Knees over the toes, she's not going knock knee, that's not good. Nice and tall, a little prayer at the top, hoping that it will go away, the pain, but it's so good. Good, Sean, nice and, nice and tall there, man. Kick that heel out a little bit. You wanna make sure you're on a pair of skis going forward. Now we're gonna go out a little bit wider, show you guys. Hands on the thighs, bring it up, and squeeze at the bottom, down. Eight reps, each movement. Chest is up, eyes are forward, good, let's see you guys. Oh, that's so nice, that looks really good. Nice straight backs, you guys. Sometimes people can't do that, you have to lean forward a little bit, that's okay. Last one, looks like this, let me show you, nice and wide. Good, hands are here, you're gonna push out in the last one. Push the knees out and up. Push the knees out and up. Push the knees out and up. Good. Drive that pelvis forward. Turn those knees out. Heads up. Nice little pause at the bottom. Boom. Good. They got two more. Just like that. Good form, you guys. Nice and deep. Last one. All right, let's stretch. Doing that quad. Here it comes. Stand tall. Grab the foot. Remember, you can use the chair if you've got one. Other side, here we go. Nice, let's get the right hamstring and calf, bend over, pull that toe up. Just like before, you guys. It's a little cool down, it gives you a chance, give you a chance to bring your heart rate down. A couple of deep breaths, here we go. Pull wide across the chest. One more, here we go. Up tall and wide. Let's get the shoulders front and back and front. Last stretch, you guys. Boom. That's it. Nice work. We're going to see you tomorrow for cardio abs. Nice work, you guys. Thank you very, very much. Great. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good, good. All right.